Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a video where Fortress is finally printing. So this is, I guess, the companion printer to my Rook Evolution that's sitting up there on my dresser. If you've purchased the Rook Evo, you also get the files to Fortress as well. So the Z is 100% complete. I'm just going to make a couple final adjustments uh, to the back Z mount there. Um, I want to tweak a couple little things. I have to add some holes in the back panel so wires can pass through. Um, just little stuff like that, nothing huge. But I'm very happy with how it's working so far. Everything's starting to finally come together. Um, I definitely want to uh, be honest, I definitely got burnt out with this printer because Rook Evolution took so long to de design. Um, it was like six times longer than a normal printer would be in CAD because it's all 3D printed. And then I also had to finish uh, Fortress at the same time essentially. So I got burnt out on this particular printer and it's kind of taken longer than I would have liked. I also had a bunch of other projects in the background. I still have my Rook build series and I helped someone build a Trident and, and stuff like that. So, you know, everything's kind of happening at once and uh, that's kind of just how it is sometimes. But yeah, for instance, since my last videos, uh, not a whole lot else has changed other than the Z being completed and it's finally printing. Uh, as seen before, I've changed it so that the linear rails actually mount to an extrusion. They don't mount to side panels like the Evo up there. I need to make some new side panels for the printer. That shouldn't take too long. Um, they're basically gonna split in the middle here and they'll bolt to this extrusion with some 2020 bolts or some M5 bolts right onto the 2020. You can see the uh, linear rail mounts here and also there's a similar kind of mount here which helps locate these back extrusions. I think the printer looks really cool in my opinion. It's a very simplified uh, printer as far as extrusions. Anyone can just purchase uh, the extrusions. You don't have to cut anything or anything like that. It's very nice. And then I'm using these um, beefy 2020 corner brackets to make sure everything's nice and solid and stiff. And then the top is going to be a 3D printed piece and most likely like a window at the top. The printer is direct drive, of course, but I have um, all my parts are on my evolution. So I just threw on a clone BMG from Amazon and this really crappy spider 3.0 hot end or whatever. So definitely nothing special, just some Amazon special motors. There's definitely room for the motors to be like a good height. You could run like 48 millimeter tall motors or whatever you would like. The Z motor um, should generally stay in the 40 millimeter uh, height range. Try to get yourself a good Z motor uh, to be able to run all three lead screws. You definitely want some, some decent torque. It is a two to one gear reduction, but still uh, I'm running this like a really cheapo motor at 0.8 amps and it gets pretty warm. But like I say, I do have to do some fine tuning to the Z still to make it just a, a little bit smoother and, and uh, stuff like that. But yeah, so far pretty happy. I don't really know about a release date yet. I'm hoping I can get this done in about a month. Like I say, it's the panels I'm going to leave last. Uh, as I talked about in a previous video, I want to move all these pulleys out so that I can have more build area. I should be able to get around six millimeters per side. Um, so that'd be six on this side, six on that side. So I'm hoping to make this like as big as possible as far as actual build area. This is a Prusa mini bed, uh, 180 by 180. Right now the build area is around 165, I believe. So I'm hoping to get to 170, maybe 175. So we'll see how that works, but it's still a very nice usable size and these um, Fisec Prusa mini beds are, are uh, relatively inexpensive. 
that come with the PEI sheet and also the uh, the bed and stuff. And we're just supported here with three springs so you can fine tune your bed level once you've leveled your uh, bed mounts there. And this is like three millimeters or four millimeter thick um, PCB. It's quite stiff. So I haven't noticed the, f the bed shaking or anything like that. The bed is very, very robust. I'm actually very happy with uh, how it's working, so. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much everything for updates for Fortress. If you wanna support the channel, feel free to subscribe to my Patreon. It really helps the team. If you wanna just do a one-time donation, you can do that from my, my Mini Factory page. Um, as I said before, if you've purchased the Rook Evolution printer, you will get Fortress as well. Um, both kind of will be included in that package. And of course, as always, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.